When you said in that video that Ms. Leeds would not be your first choice, you were referring to her physical looks, correct? Just the overall. Not, I, I look at her, I see her, I hear what she says, whatever. You wouldn't be a choice of mine either, to be honest with you. I hope you're not insulted. I would not, under any circumstances, have any interest in you. I'm, being, I'm honest when I say it. Uh, she, I would not have any interest in. The video we just watched, where you talked about Miss Leeds. What else did you know about Miss Leeds that would indicate to you that she was, would not have been your first choice, other than how she looked? I don't know. I think I probably saw her on television or something. Uh, but I don't want to be insulting. But when people accuse me of something, I think I have a right to be insulting because they're insulting me. They're doing the ultimate insult. They make up stories and then I'm not allowed to speak my mind. No, I, I disagree with that. No, the, she would not have uh, been anywhere on a list. I just just wouldn't have been for me. No. It's disgusting. It's what she said was disgusting. When you said that Ms. Carroll was not your type, you meant that she was not your type physically, right? Uh, I saw her in a picture. I didn't know what she looked like. Uh, and I said it, and I say it with as much respect as I can, but she is not my type. And again, when you say type, you just refer to looking at photos. So you mean physically she's not your type? Uh, physically she's not my type. And now that I've gotten indirectly to hear things about her, she wouldn't be my type in any way, shape, or form. But when you were talking back on June 24th, you were referring to her not being your type physically. I correct? saw a photo of her. Okay. And the only difference between me and other people is I'm honest. She's not my type. Now, when you say in here, I don't know this woman and have no idea who she was, who she is, even though you're using the present tense, you're referring back to your knowledge as of when she first made the allegation. I still don't know this woman. I think she's a whack job. I have no idea. I don't know anything about this woman other than what I read in stories and what I hear. Uh, I, I, know, I know nothing about her. Okay, well, I guess the distinction I'm trying to make, sir, is that when the allegation came out in 2019, you said you, you I think it's your testimony, you had no idea who she was. That's right. I still don't. Well, today you at least know that she's a plaintiff in a case suing you, correct? Oh, yes, that I know. Okay. But I know nothing about her. I think she's sick, mentally sick. Okay. Um, you say in this post, you use a strange word, which I want to ask you about. You say she completely made up a story that I met her at the doors of this crowded New York City department store and within minutes swooned her. You see that? Yeah. What does swoon her mean? Uh, that would be a word, maybe accurate or not, having to do with uh, talking to her and talking to her to do an act that she said happened, which didn't happen. And it's a nicer word than the word that starts with an F. And this would be a word that I used because I thought it would be inappropriate to use the other word. Um, and it didn't happen. Okay, I, I was curious when I read this, so I looked up the word swoon in the dictionary. And under the dictionary, it means to faint with extreme emotion. That's not what you meant here. Objection to form. Uh, well, sort of. That's what she said I did to her. She fainted with great emotion. She actually indicated that she loved it. Okay, she loved it until commercial break. In fact, I think she said it was sexy, didn't she? It was very sexy to be raped. Didn't she say that? So, sir, I just want to confirm. It's your testimony that E. Jean Carroll said that she loved being sexually assaulted by you? Well, based on her interview with Anderson Cooper, I believe that's what took place. You, we, can, we can define that. You'll have to show that. I'm sure you're going to show that. But she was interviewed by Anderson Cooper. And I think she said that rape was sexy, which it's not, by the way. But I think she said that rape was sexy and it was, she actually said things that were very strange. And then she was a different person after the, when he said, we'll take a break right now. We're gonna take a break right now. He didn't like what she was saying. He was very upset with what, and then she came back and she was a much different woman the second 
in the second half, so to speak. And so the question I'm asking you is, did she say in that interview that she loved being sexually assaulted by well, you? Well, she said something to that effect. I mean, you'll have to take a look at the interview yourself. Uh, I believe she said rape was sexy, to which Anderson Cooper is dying. He's saying, let's get to a commercial break immediately. I think you better watch the interview. I'm sure you have, but you better watch the interview. In the interview, when Ms. Carroll talked about rape being sexy, isn't it true that she said that's a view that many other people hold? Oh, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. All I know is I believe she said rape is sexy or something to that effect, but you have to watch the interview. It's been a while. And just to clarify, you, I think you said a few minutes earlier that you used the word swooned as a synonym for, you said the F word, for sexual intercourse? Yeah. Okay. That's because that's what she said. What do you mean? She never used the word swoon. No. She, used, she said that I did something to her that never took place. There was no anything. I know nothing about this nut job. Okay. Then you go on to say in the statement, and while I am not supposed to say it, I will. Why were you not supposed to say it? Because it's not politically correct to say, read the next, go ahead, that she's not my type. Yeah, because it's not politically correct to say it, and I know that, but I'll say it anyway. She's accusing me of rape. A woman that I have no idea who she is. It came out of the blue. She's accusing me of rape, of raping her. The worst thing you can do, the worst charge, and and you know it's you know it's not true too. You're a political operative, also. You're dis you're a disgrace. But she's accusing me, and so are you, of rape, and it never took place. And I will tell you, I made that statement, and I said, well, it's politically incorrect. She's not my type, and that's a hundred percent true. She's not my type. In your true social statement on October twelfth. Um, you use the word hoax. Specifically, you say it is a hoax and a lie, just like all the other hoaxes that have been played on me for the past seven years. Do you see that? Oh, yeah. Recall making that statement. Um, and I take it what you're saying there is um, Ms. Carroll fabricated um, her claim that you sexually assaulted her. Correct? Yes, totally. Okay. 100%. Now, fair to say, you'd agree with me, would you not, that you use the term hoax quite a lot? Yes, I do. Um, CNN reported that you used it more than 250 times in 2020. Does that sound right Could to you? Could be. I've had a lot of hoaxes played on me. This um, is one of them. And how, how would you define the word hoax? Uh, a fake story, a false story, a made-up story. Something that's not true. Something that's not true. Um, sitting here today, can you recall what else you have referred to as a hoax? Sure. The Russia, Russia, Russia hoax. It's been proven to be a hoax. Uh, Ukraine, Ukraine, Ukraine hoax. The uh, Mueller situation for two and a half years hoax. Ended in no collusion. It was a whole big hoax. Uh, the lying to the FISA court hoax. The lying to Congress many times hoax by all these people, this, this scum that we have in our country. Lying to Congress hoax. The spying on my campaign hoax. They spied on my campaign and now they admit it. Uh, that was another hoax. And I could get a whole list of them. And this is a hoax too. This, when you say this and that? This, this ridiculous situation that we're doing right. It's a big fat hoax. She's a liar and she's a sick person, in my opinion. Really sick. Something wrong with her.